Hello everybody, it's Miss J00. Today I'm coming on to show you how I print on these glassine bags. Um, I've had a few crafty friends ask me to show them, so I'm going to attempt to do a little tutorial <laughs> the best I can. Never done a tutorial before, but I'll try. Um, okay, so I have to start off by saying, one, everybody has different printers, everybody has different laptops, everybody has different glassine bags. Um, so it's all about trial and error. You just got to try different things. And that's pretty much what I did. Some work, some don't. And I've done it too, to where I kind of have a little idea of what works for me. Um, this is how I do it. I don't know if there's an easier way. If there is, let it, let me know down in the description. <laughs> so when I was saying everybody had different glycine bags, I've tried different ones. So I got these off Amazon. It's a 200 pack for like 12 bucks. And to me, I think it's worth it because I do a lot of them. So, And so far, that's what's worked for me. Um, I had a few from a friend that sent me a, a D-Stash and those work too. I don't know what brand they were. They were just in a D-Stash. Um, I have bought these on at Michael's, 25 pack of glassine. I went to Hobby Lobby, but they didn't have any. So I got these at Michael's and these didn't seem to work as good for me. I'll show you why. Um, let's see. So see, I tried to do this peacock and see how it's bleeding up where the black is by the head and over by the feet. A lot of bleeding goes on. Um, I did this bird cage and see how it's bleeding around the circle. Um, or a birdhouse, sorry. This is a bird cage. Um, and the bleeding on where the bird cage is at. So yeah, it, that one didn't work that great for me. Um, and then the one, I'm using the ones from Amazon, but sometimes you have errors with that too. So like I did a peacock first with this one and see how there's smears. Just depends on your printer. And it smeared a little bit up here. So you just gotta play around because everybody has different printers, different, you know, programs. I mean, you just got to, I call it trial and error. <laughs> so, and these bags, I get more better results with these. Not all the time, but most of the time. So I did a peacock with that one. That one turned out good. The birdhouse. Um, I did the feather and then I did... I try to put some text so you can see that you can actually customize them. You know, you can make them for birthdays or a thank you or a hello and put a little gift inside the bag. So I put happy mail with a nice feather just to show you that you can add text. You just download your picture and um, whatever program you have on your laptop, just add text to it and download it. Um, I had did this one, but this one messed up. I try to stay away from dark colors, but it's weird because some dark colors work, you know, um, and then some don't. So like the, none of this black smeared, but then I had a little uh, smudge right here and I tried to wipe it off. I use a Q-tip and just some um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I rubbed too hard. Um, at first I was, you know, rubbed really hard, so now it has a rub mark. But on another one, I just took some and I just dabbed it on there and did it real softly and it came off. If it's a little bit, if it's too much, I just start over. <laughs> it's not even worth me trying. Um, one other thing about these bags is, let me get one out. Okay. This is the one we're gonna make, so I'll put these up here. Okay, so you see how there's the flat side, right? And then there's the seam side. Well, you're going to print on the flat side, but you, I thought they were defective when I first got them because see how the, the flap goes forward? So that means the flap is going to be where you print at. So some of them I left it. And then um, another way to do it is I just took my pinking shears that I have, these pinking shears, and I just cut along the top and made my own top. So... Actually, I'll do this on the one we're about to do. So you just take your pinking shears and you just cut along the top. And there you go. Then you have a new bag. Okay. And all these images are off Creative Fabrica. I know I've talked about them 
numerous times because I love that site. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they have different offers. They have free things all the time. Um, and they have different subscriptions. I think they have a monthly and a yearly. Or you can just download per download, which isn't that much either. Just depends on how much you use it, I think. So um, they have a free trial deal where you um, get free access to 6 million different fonts, designs. They have print on demand. They have 3D projects. You get a maximum of 10 free downloads and the commercial license, you know, in case you wanted to end up selling something is included. And then after the 10th one, you get charged a monthly fee, which would be $9, but $9 is still good, but they actually have deals. I've seen it to where they had it for $5.99 and I think on Black Friday, they had it for $4.99 a month, which is great. Um, so yeah, um, you should really look into it. I'll put the link to Creative Fabrica and then I'll put a link to these images in case you wanted to go and check them out. Okay. Okay. So here we are. So what I do first is, um, I take, oh, I get an image. Let me bring up my images and I print it on regular printer paper, just cheapo copy paper. So I'm going to do that right now. And I, I don't know if I said this, but I have a EcoTank 3760 and um, it gives me the option for different sizes when I print, which I think most printers do. Um, so I'm printing it for this size bag, four by six seems to work for me. Um, and um, let's see, EcoTank. So yeah going to print it on regular paper first. Now on my printer, like I said, all printers are different. I have a tray that my paper goes in, right? So this is how it came out of my printer. Came out, printed out. So I always put like, in the beginning I did it. I don't really do it now, but just to show you just in case, because sometimes I'll be doing three different things. And then when I come back, I can't remember how I had the paper in there. And you have to refeed this through your printer. So I always put an arrow to let me know that it came out this way. So when it's in the drawer, it would be in the drawer like this, right? And then when it prints, it comes up like this, right? Just got to remember how your printer prints it out. So then I take the bag and you want it to print on the flat side. So on the on the seam side, I take some repositional tape. Um, you can use any brand. I have multiple brands. This one just happens to be Recollections. And you just put a little bit of tape on all four sides because you don't want it to lift up and jam in your printer. And don't worry, because this just rubs right off the glassing, comes right off. You can put it wherever you want. Then I take my image and I put the glassine bag, because you know how you can kind of see through it. And I put it like approximately where I want it to print. So that looks pretty good. Then I just flatten it down. Sometimes I'll take my nail or my bone folder and crease that down. So it, you, you want to make keep it as flat as possible because you don't want to jam up in your printer. That's happened to me too. But it, you just pull it out and you start all over again. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll take it let me see if I can move my camera. I'm right by a window, so I'll lift up my paper to see where I have it placed at to make sure that that's where I want it. Looks good to me. So then I'll put it back in my printer. So remember, our arrow, that means it's going to print out this way. So I want to put it in the drawer like this because then it'll print out like this. So I'm going to go put it back in my printer. Print it again. And there 
Now, when you take it out, you do not want to touch it because the ink is wet. At least mine, because it's, you know, this is wax paper, so it pretty much stays on there. There's a, like a little bit of ink there, but I don't know, that doesn't bother me. I guess I could try and get it off. I'm not sure if it'll work. So I just did it real softly with the alcohol in it. Made it lighter. It's slightly there, but that doesn't bother me. Came off. Most of it came off. Now you just let it sit and dry because you do not want to touch it. Like I'll just put it to the side and let it sit there for a while because you got to make sure all the ink is dry before you start touching it. Um, and then, so let's pretend that this is the one I'm going to use, right? You, you come back and it's all dry. So then you just peel it off, peel it off your paper. So then you have all this sticky stuff on here, right? The tape. You just take your finger and rub it off. And it'll give you like a, I call them glue, glue boogers. <laughs> you just rub off all the tape and it comes right off because it's wax paper or glassine. Like wax paper, I guess. Get the glue boogers off. It takes a minute to rub it off wherever you put the tape. Just make sure that your image is dry. That's all I, you want to make sure because then it, if not, it'll smear. And then just take it off. Get the glue boogers off your finger. There, all off. When your bag is ready to go, you're ready to use it. Um, which it will be this one when I'm done. So anyway, that's how I make my bags. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. And, you know, like I said, this is how I do it. Um, if there's a better way or a quicker way or whatever, you could definitely let me know in the um, description because I'm willing to learn anything <laughs> but yeah it's fun so just you know play around with your printer and see what you can do and um, if you have any questions if I'm able to help I will so just leave me a question down below if you have it so anyway hope everybody's having a great day and I'll talk to you later all right bye bye